You are listening to the O'Brien and Bolt Podcast. Today on the podcast, we're talking about preparing the dinner table for Thanksgiving. And uh, on the phone right now, I'm, how are you doing? How uh, are I'm you doing? How, just... how are you doing, Michael? I'm a big fan of yours. I'm well, glad thank you. We finally, we finally connected here, hooked up together, especially about this very, very, very special time of the year. Well, thank you very much. And I understand that you are uh, an expert on how to properly prepare for the Thanksgiving feast. Well, they, 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 I got kind of a nickname several years ago, uh, the host with the most. <laughs> <laughs> the kids came up with that. You know, I, I remember, uh, I think it was uh, Betty Crocker, one of those that the hostess with the most. I said, well, uh, I, uh-huh. don't, don't do that to me. Um, but but I just think uh, because the hostess connotates a female, and uh, like just like a, a hostess could be either one actress, actor, stewardess, steward. Sure. So let's just stick with the one. Let's not uh, put the e. Let's just not put the e s s on that thing. Host. Okay, it's all blurred now. Anyway. Right. It's just like no. your. But but that doesn't apply to words like address. Or well, e, that's or a good e, point. Or e egress. I, I never really thought of it that way. That's something to think about. You know, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to have to come up with, improvise at the mm-hmm. dinner table when you've got relatives there. You want to keep the conversation going because a good host makes you feel like you're at home. And so when you keep the conversation rolling, include everybody from the the, the from the from two-year-old toddler who can barely speak a word to the, to the 95-year-old great-grandpa who can barely... You know, you want to keep everybody. Speak a word. What's that? You speak a word. Can yeah. barely speak a word. Well, you said that. Yeah, I said that. I said that about the two-year-old. All right. Anyway, so so what you're saying is that the key to a good Thanksgiving chit chat, chit chat, chit chat, and being a great conversationalist. Now, I have heard that in order to be a great conversationalist, you need to be a good listener. You don't say. Well, that's what I've heard. You don't yeah. say. The listening is Tell me very, more. The listening is I'm very, very interested in what you have to say. Tell me more. Right. Well, to truly be listening to the other person, to uh, be interested in what they're saying and not just waiting for your turn to talk. You're kidding me. Well, that's what I've read. And it seems to have some truth to it. Well, what I'm doing now mm-hmm. is I'm interjecting while you're talking. Mm-hmm. And by interjecting, by saying things like "you're kidding" or "you're kidding," go on or <laughs> "tell me more." Or other- these are words of encouragement, mm, and they're positive signs of reinforcement for conversation at the dinner table. Uh huh. So let's say Aunt Mitzi is there, and you haven't oh, yeah. seen her for f- several years. She looks it, horrible. It has been several years, yeah. Well, I don't have an Aunt Mitzi. I just oh. again, I just, I'm just saying, any aunt. Any that, aunt, any, okay. or uh-huh. uncle that hasn't you haven't seen for a while and you don't have that much in common you're reconnecting you're, re, re, you're getting together it's a family reunion you want to make them feel at home aunt mitzi who does your hair you look d- delightful oh i see where you're going with this yeah or uncle uncle herb oh uh, yeah i don't I have not seen him in a while either exactly i don't remember you being so bald well well, now, yeah, no, okay, so that might be a little sensitive about yeah, that. Yeah, let's get off that track. We, I was just thinking about the appearance and the hair and the head. And I wanted to keep it uh, the same. Yes. Now, are there so, any conversations that you should avoid uh, around the uh, Thanksgiving table? Uh, well, I would never conver- uh, start a conversation with saying something like, uh, how many drinks is that now? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You don't want mm-hmm. to go there because if someone's got an issue with the with the bottle, you You're don't right. want to reinforce it, it by bringing it to everyone's attention. That's why uh, we always just say it's an open bar. Just help yourself. That way, nobody's judging. Nobody's keeping track. Yeah, but there, it becomes pretty evident pretty clearly when somebody uh, has had a, maybe a little bit too much at the family reunion. There's a lot of tension sometimes at these things. You know, these sure. reunions. A lot of people, long time past, a lot of baggage, a lot of stress from the past, issues that have never been resolved. Uh, yeah. You know, they're I, looking I, forward to the 
Thanksgiving so they can get these things on the table, if you'll excuse the expression. You know, a lot of people drink uh, to 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 kind of unlock that door, that door they've kept locked, that 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 door that opens up and give gives them that liberated feeling to say things to you that they've been wanting to say for a long time, but they haven't had the nerve to, uh, the courage to. That alcohol may give them the courage. Well, I, I appreciate you taking some time here. I know this is a busy season for Be you. Be civil. And- keep keep it on the up and up, come on the level. Mm-hmm. We've been talking with Hubert. Humphreys, Hubert Humphreys, not Hubert Humphrey. It's an S on the uh, Hubert uh, Humphreys. But it sounds a little bit like the senator, vice president, Uh, Hubert mm -hmm. Humphreys. H H H H H H H. Happy Happy Warrior. Look for my book. Oh, what is the name of your book? Well, we haven't put a name on it yet, so it's not going to be out for this Thanksgiving, but soon. And I, I imagine you're probably going to have some some conversation starters in there, some tips for starting a conversation, some uh, prompts, so, so what, to speak. So what's been going on? Oh, that sounds pretty good. Uh, how you been? Uh, how you been's good. Oh, you yeah. look great. Not bad. How you been? You look great. No, I'm practicing. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I... I'm reading from my, oh, some notes from see. my book. You're good. You're good. Wow, did you guys drive the whole way or did you decide to fly? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, you can't park. You can't park in their driveway. You see, your front bump, your front bumper is just a little bit. He's not a he's not a pleasant person. Uh-huh. So if you don't mind backing your car up, yeah. Where or should I put my parking it around I, the corner? Where should I put my coat? I'll take that. All right, we brought something. I'll put it over there. What is okay. it? Okay. Well, it's in the bag. It's a little uh, schnapps. Okay, well, let's do it. We had it. We had it in the uh, pantry. We anyway. That's the way clothes. that. That's the way that goes. I see. All right. Have a good day. <laughs> You've been listening to O'Brien and Bolt, the podcast. I'm Michael O'Brien. And I'm Jeff Bolt. And our job is to entertain as well as inform. You know, if you like what you heard today, please give us a big thumbs up on your source for all your podcasts. And you can find us on Facebook at O'Brien and Bolt. Thanks.